In this video, I'm going to explain what we mean by reciprocal. So, what we mean by reciprocal is that if I look at a number a, then its reciprocal is 1 over a. And so what we're saying is that if I am given a number, then if I put it over 1, or sorry, uh, put, put 1 over that number, then I have its reciprocal. So for example, the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. The reciprocal of 1 third is 1 over 1 third, which is 3. If I look at the reciprocal of 2 fifths, then 1 over 2 fifths is 5 halves. And so you can see that the fraction flips. And so that's how we can work out the reciprocal. Now we need the reciprocal when we're looking for a gradient of a perpendicular line. And so if I was looking at y is equal to 3x plus 8, for example, and I wanted to write down a line that was, that was perpendicular to it, then what I need to do is write down a line that has a gradient that is the negative reciprocal of 3. Okay? So the negative reciprocal of 3 is minus 1 third. Okay? So what I'm saying there is that if you're looking for the negative reciprocal, then let's say we've got 5. The negative reciprocal is 1 over 5, but now minus. Okay, so the sign changes. If we were looking at minus 3 quarters, then the negative reciprocal is 4 thirds. So the fraction flips and I change the sign. And so, if y is equal to 3x plus 8 is the line we're dealing with, then a line that is perpendicular to it would be y is equal to minus 1 third x plus any other number. So, let's say plus 10. These two lines are then perpendicular. And you can show that because the two gradients multiply together to make minus 1, as we saw in the previous video. 